to be smart. There we go, and then just one with Michael. There you go. Okay, so a scout lived on my estate, so then I was pretty pretty lucky in a sense. So my brother kept nagging him, nagging him, asking for a trial. So then he took me to a place where he trained up kids. And obviously I went there and I went there and performed well. And he took me to Arsenal and I got signed within a week or so. Yeah, and ever since then, it's been a very great experience for the eight years I've been here. And I'm just looking to push on, go further up the ladder. Well, when I was about six or seven i was playing at my sunday league club and then the scouts obviously saw me and they invited me to go and train at the development center and then after a couple of months there i went to hayland we used to go in once a week on a friday and um, got through the selection process there and then from there i just carried on playing and finally signed joined, joined the club when i was eight years old joined the under nines just been working hard ever since then and obviously now it's all paid off and I'm here at Colney. At the end of last season, everyone's hearts were pumping a little bit, not sure if they were going to get contracts, but now everyone's really excited just to get started and get to know the place a bit better, because obviously we're not here all the time, so coming here is a big step for us, going from three days a week to full time basically. So we're really looking forward to it, to get started. It was amazing because not everyone gets the chance and I had let people go, so... And so it was a bit, it was like good, like I felt like I've, all that hard work that I've been doing has actually finally come to something good, but now I have to push on because it's only the first couple of steps, so I need to make sure of some in the 18s team, try pushing the 21s and hopefully first team. Yeah, for all of them it's, it's uh, nice, of course, but uh, the ones who came in from uh, Helland, coming from Helland, is, is yeah, special, a special moment, because they are already eight, nine, year, ten years at the club, and now making a big step to Colney, so that's great. Train proper each and every time, and instead of, yeah, if you don't like, you don't have the day uh, at the moment, uh, then you still have to do it. Um, and uh, all other kinds of discipline stuff, and it's a little bit harder than uh, than before. I'm, I'm proud because there's there's lot, there's been a lot of ups and downs. Like those times where I I didn't like I thought like I was gonna get released or, but I've always tried to push for it. So I'm proud in a sense, but I still think that there's a lot more to go. That like I can still improve a lot more and push on and try try to get the best out of myself. I'm just looking forward to being able to do what I love full time and uh, not have to think about other worries. And when I'm playing football, I can just take all the worries off my mind and really try my hardest. Yeah, everyone knows like it can happen so quickly. You could just be thrown in the first team, but it's all about working hard to try and get there. You managed to make that step. Um, we had a discussion about your future with the whole staff, recruitment, coaches, me. And the decisions about you, Stefan, were unanimous. Everybody agreed, this guy has to be moved up. Now is the most difficult part, we'll start next season. A lot of things will change. We will spend much more time to football. They managed to come from Highland to Colney. So that means the tragedy and the 9 and the 16, they succeeded to manage it. Now the next step is to go to Colney and to make it into Emirates. And that's, that's the hardest part. I mean, we, have, we are one of the best clubs in the world. We have a real good first team squad. And to come into that squad is one of the hardest things in football because we are that good. Luck, luck, it always plays a role, but also the mentality to work hard, to improve themselves every day, every day work on yourself. 
And if that's it, that's there, the, 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 the will to perform, the will to improve, yeah, then they need the talent. And those three things, three things, luck, mentality, talent, makes decides for them, do they make it or do, don't they make it. Arsenal plays a lot of young players, um, so I think it's a, a good pathway for young footballers to try to get into the first team and try and make a name for yourself. At the time it didn't really hit me and then after, a couple of days after, I realised how close I am to hopefully playing in this beautiful stadium and playing with the best players in the world. But I have a long way to come and I understand that and I know that. Well, I've been an Arsenal fan so, like, as long as I can remember and it's just an amazing feeling getting a scholarship at this amazing team and because I've loved them from a young age, playing here hopefully one day will be my dream. <laughs> Those people are so proud, so happy and I can understand when you're a parent you drive your boys seven, eight years to Highland and then finally they're standing here in this huge stadium and they're so proud of those boys and those boys they know they have a chance now they have given themselves a chance i like it it's a it's a fantastic day for them and it's really nice to observe it <laughs>